Good morning, good morning, good morning, friends and neighbors. It's a new day, as you can see, 7.14 in the morning, day three. However, it's dawned a, a dark, dark, cold morning. We quickly look at the weather. It's uh, only a high of 17 grot today, which is, you double it, 28... Um, 38, 15, it's about 55 degrees thereabouts. Quickly looking through everything else, you can see we have one day, two hours to go to our next great demand. We've got the fields all ready to harvest. Um, if you look for today, we're already at a minus $170, but now the milk truck just picked up the milk, so we are in the positive now. Looking at the pigs, you can see we're up to 39 the manure we got almost 10,000 liters in there or just over 8,000 liters rather and same with slurry we'll definitely have to muck out the pigs today if we look at the cows you'll see their liquid manure is just under a thousand liters and the manure is just under 2,000 so we'll leave the the cows alone and stuff we won't use their their product so to speak let's put this back over on pigs so there we go. If we look at the eggs, we have none on us, but there's currently 42 in the chicken coop. So let's jump over there and grab that. Let's jump through the bushes here. We'll come and pick up the 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 eggs for sure. Get them going. So yeah, welcome back everyone. Thank you for your continued support. It's really meaning a lot to me. Um haven't been getting any suggestions on on what to do next and everything so we'll probably just end up having to do what we see fit um let's get the harvester fired up and moved over to the fields get them going and let me switch to the main vehicle get it started up and lift that up and away we go. Let's get the lights turned on. Now, I don't know if the, how the weather's going to hold. Hopefully it won't rain. It's not supposed to rain. But hopefully it will hold off long enough for us to get the crops picked up. And get them harvested. Um, actually, I want to... Let me just get rid of that. The sunroof right control pad zero. Um, right control, ah, long run, there we go, let's get rid of that, um, unless it starts to rain, then we'll put it back on, but I don't like, uh, I want to be able to see, let's get rid of the HUD as well, so we've got 42 eggs on us that we'll be able to get rid of shortly. So like I said, welcome back everyone. We are back. The fields are ready to go. Now, I really didn't think the fields would be ready in time for the great demand. So we could have planted all the fields with barley and really got a, a, a nice high demand or high, high yield money-wise for the great demand. But alas, I did not do that. So we'll just move on out and do with what we've got. We'll start over here in the wheat first. We'll get this knocked out. We'll get Philip started on it. Boy, that weather's really black. We'll get Philip started. Hopefully the weather will hold. It won't rain. And we'll go get the truck. So let's get him going. We'll run to get the truck. And let's head on out over to the field. Let's quickly check our fuel levels. Okay, we're good on fuel. Okay. And away we go. So welcome back everyone. I know I've said that already, but I uh, just wanted to say it again. I hope that you're continuing to find this series enjoyable. Um, I know I am. I really enjoyed this map. 
Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's a very well nice uh, or very detailed map with custom sounds and custom um, uh, graphics and stuff with the all the American barns and silos and the windmills and stuff. So it's very, very well done. I really enjoy that. Um, I'm thinking about doing a mod spotlight on this vehicle and all of all of its accessories. That would probably be my next project. Um, I know a few of you showed interest in this vehicle. And unfortunately, I mean, it's not an American vehicle. It is a Russian vehicle. But... Uh, I mean, for our purposes, it it will work. We'll just pretend it's an American vehicle, but it is actually a real, real Russian vehicle. They do have these. I was looking on the internet. Um, it was a truck made in the 50s. Um, this particular model here uh, was 58, I believe it was. I, I looked online, so I'll probably be doing that. Um, he's almost full. Let's get back in the truck and get in position. We'll flip around. Let him spin around and then we'll come up behind him, or beside him rather, and let him offload. still foggy so with the fog and the black skies it kind of gives an eerie look out there let's put in the position here okay and we're looking good we'll get him offloaded So we've got uh, got the fields growing. We've got two canola fields, one barley field, and the two wheat fields. I'm thinking about this episode. We'll go ahead and purchase that field back over there right behind this field. And, and we'll get that one planted today as well. Um, we'll kind of offset it that way. That way uh, we'll have some more harvest uh, fields we can harvest to to help our income come in um i know there's only so much that we can actually do on this map as it is so small but uh, i do enjoy playing it uh, i hope you guys enjoy watching it so let's just drop this here what we're going to do is let me shut that off let's run over here and check see how much this field actually is i know we can do it from the field manager but we got to let uh, philip do some work and the time he's ready for us, we should be over here. Got it, and run back to our truck. So let's take a look. Now it's not that big, but we could probably throw some more, maybe like barley or something on it. Uh, it's two hundred sixty euro or dollars rather. Um, let's go ahead and buy that. Um, it's already ready to har or ready to plant. All we got to do is fertilize it and uh, seed it. So let's jump over to the tractor. Oh, that's the one I want. Um, let's shift back. Uh, let's get this picked up. And what is the seed we currently have? Perfect. That's what we want. It was barley. And there's 30% in there. Now, it may not be enough to do that field. We'll just put a little more in there. Okay, that should be enough. Let's get over there. So, been watching some the reviews and stuff of Farming Simulator 2015 uh, teaser video. Uh, most people can't understand why they chose to show the video they showed as it appeared to be more of a forced simulator as opposed to a farming simulator. And I do tend to agree somewhat. Um, my thinking is they just wanted to highlight the, the new feature that will be making a, a premiere with that 
that particular uh, season or that particular uh, title. So I can understand it to a point. Um, let's put this down. But I mean, only time will tell to see how how well how well it will be received. Um, I I myself am looking forward to it. I I can't wait to put my hands on it and play it. And get back into place here. How's he doing? He's at seventy percent. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he's offloaded in a timely fashion. You hear the water rushing through there. Nice sounds. Okay, he's 82% full. He should, I hope, get back to this opposite end and turn around. Get back on track, Michael. Yeah, most likely he's not going to be able to. He's only halfway through the field. So let's get this turned around. And go get the truck. No. Oh. Okay. Let's go get the truck. What are you doing, Philip? What are you doing? Oh, okay. I see what it is. The he's all right. Ignore me, Philip. You're right. You did right. Must be too early in the morning. Okay, let's get this fired up, and he's ready to offload. Oh, she sputtered out. There we go. Go, 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 go. Okay, here we go. Looking good. Let's run back over here and continue seating. Yeah, we'll need to back up a little bit. There we go. And away we go. I think we're slowly starting to make headway. Uh, Money-wise and, and um, equipment-wise. I mean, there's still a few pieces of equipment that we desperately need. Um, I still haven't decided what what direction we should go yet. That's where I really need your guys' help and gals. Um, could really use some feedback of what you think is the best way to move forward. I discussed it briefly in my last couple of videos and we'll go over it again for this video. We need to A, either move in the direction of the animals and get a mixing wagon and that way we can make mixed rations. That's one direction. Um, we can also go in direction of just straight animals. And when I mean animals is most likely the cows. Uh, at 2000 a pop though, we wouldn't be able to get very many. We can go in the direction of the sheep. However, for the sheep, we'll need to invest in a front end loader with a pallet fork. Um, we can go in the direction of a larger capacity or larger spread manure spreader and the fields and just concentrate solely on purchasing all the fields and getting lots of harvests banked into the silos and sold um so our there's an alternative whichever another direction that you guys can think of that i haven't discussed uh, just let me know in the comments below um i appreciate all your your feedback and your output our input rather and it will help us decide the the next step on which way we're going to go which way we're going to go now 
we definitely can't really do anything until we get the great demand of barley sold. So I'm looking forward to that. Once we get that in, then we'll be in a position where we can move forward one of those directions. Okay, let's turn around. How full is he? He is 65%. It's okay. He's doing okay. Back up a little bit. Okay, we're doing good. And he's turning around again. Good. Okay, let's quickly jump off of here. Let's go get him offloaded again. Now will we be able to hold all? Probably not. We've got 69% in here. We might. Let's quickly run up beside him here. Offload him. We'll go dump this in the silo. Or we might sell it. Let's see what the wheat price is right now. Oh, wheat's up. So if it's over 600 at the saloon or something, we'll probably likely sell it then. Okay. So we tap through 493. Ooh, it's not over 600. But... 493 either at the rail line or at the saloon so either way i mean it's it's a decent price let's go ahead and and sell it anyway let's come on over we'll get it sold we'll get a little extra income coming in right now if we look we are at just under or just over 7500 so we'll definitely want to keep a little cash going we want to keep it on hand in case something happens now I have seen wheat as high as 600 something um, ideally it would have been nice to to have it at that I mean I suppose we could bank it in the silos and keep it until that time but uh, I, I think we'd be better spent to go ahead and sell it this time just to keep us around the 10,000 mark, I'd feel safer. Now, it's easier to get in the rail line, so we'll drop this in the rail line. as It's the same price as the silo. Maybe if we sell it at the rail line, then the silo will go up next time. We'll see. Okay, let's sell it. Look at that cash coming in. That's what we like to see, folks. That's what we like to see. It sounds like my family might be up upstairs, so we might get interrupted with my five-year-old coming in on us. We'll have to see. Europe. And away we go. Let's take the truck back over to the field. He's already over half full again. So we'll probably offload him once again, and then we'll continue seeding. Now, I was looking at something. I think I figured out why we didn't get as much money for the pigs last time. Um, if we look here, the pigs, if we tab through to the butcher, it's been stuck on one. Um, I was looking at someone else's series on this, and theirs was, you know, different amounts, you know, 100, 200, 25. So I'm not entirely sure why this is stuck on one. There's something wrong. I don't know what it is, unless it's there's another mod that's interfering with it. Um, not sure. I need to look into that. So that explains why we didn't get very much for our pigs last time. 
If anybody has any suggestions of what that might be, let me know, and we'll try to get that remedied. That way, uh, we're just hurting ourselves. We need to really try to get that fixed so we can ensure that we're getting our maximizing our potential income. Let's get him offloaded. Driving over the crops. I don't like doing that, but he was full, and he wouldn't have made it to the end. At least the tires aren't withered tires. Which would mean it would destroy the crops. Now some some people I've seen don't mind driving over the crops. I personally try to try to keep the realism as much as possible and I don't like to do it. So let's get him off. Okay, he's offloaded. Let's get him out of the way. So Okay. Let's run back over to the cedar, get it going. 735. Just over 10,000. Okay, two. And away we go. Okay, Alt H, let's get rid of that. How much seeds we got in there? Um, 34% still. Okay, we're okay. Okay, get this done. We're going good. It's looking good, folks. Harvesting is going good. Seeding's going good. It's all good. It's good. It's good. It's good. On a stick. Who's ever watched or heard of Jeff Dunham? If you haven't heard of Jeff Dunham, you really ought to check it out. Now, before he became famous, I was actually watching him on uh, America's Got Talent. And uh, he definitely was deserving of what he's received. He is hilarious. Most people know him from Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. Um, but he's got some really funny stuff. Great comedian. Very uh, very talented. You ought to check him out. If you, haven't, if you haven't seen anything about Jeff Dunham, you really ought to check him out. Another good ventriloquist that I really liked was uh, Terry Fader. You really ought to check out Terry Fader. Now, Terry Fader, I think, is actually has more talent than Jeff Dunham for the simple fact that he can sing through his puppets, and it doesn't matter if it's a male voice, female, female voice, whatever the genre, hip-hop, country, uh, rock. Very, very great talent. Check out Terry Fader as well. Let me know what you guys think about Terry Fader. Okay, let's continue on. How's he doing? He's 70%. We're coming along great here. Almost done, about halfway. Beautiful shot of the waterfall. And put this down. Okay. So I got something else for you guys. I'd like to know when you found my channel. What made you um, subscribe to my channel? What series it was that brought you here? Um, appreciate that input if you guys could give me that. That way it will help me make sure I'm um, tailoring my content directly to you. To ensure that you get the most enjoyment from my channel and from my videos. Um, this is the whole reason why I do that is for you guys. Uh, it really brings me enjoy enjoyment to know that someone may find my videos uh, beneficial. Uh, help in some way or just purely to relax and enjoy, uh, enjoy your time just to watch and relax. Uh, really it would help a lot, a lot if you guys could do that. It means a lot. I know I say that almost in all the videos, but I, I truly do mean it. 
Now we're going along. How is he doing? He's full. He's 100%. So let's jump to the truck. We'll get him offloaded. He's almost done with this field here. Okay, let's go back to here. And down we go, and away we go. Now we still have to fertilize this field, but we can definitely get that in a little bit. Our main concern is to get the fields harvested right now. Whoa. Don't want to drive off into that. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Okay. How are we doing on seed? We're... 25%. Okay, that's good. And coming right along, coming right along. Okay. Hope I ain't making you guys too sick with the camera movements. Looks like he's almost done. Philip's almost done with that field. And just a little shout to Jeff Taylor. Don't think he needs the sunroof today, bud. He's uh, he's not getting sunburned today for sure. So yeah, no need for an umbrella. We could put the sunroof or the the yeah the sunroof back on there if it does become sunny again. But today doesn't look like he'll get much of a sunburn. Okay, almost finished here. Then we can go get the fertilizer. We'll throw a little bit of liquid manure on here. And we'll get it all done up. Well, let's stop this for a minute. Let's get this picked up. Get right on track. Here we go. That way we don't miss anything. And he's 50% full. He's almost to the end down there. So we'll have to move him up to the other field. We'll just hit that little spot right out there on our way back up. Okay, that's it. Let's move this over. He's at the end. Let's quickly jump to him then. Okay. Might as well offload this while we're right here. Even though we don't really need to. Okay, so this field's done. We'll get the straw collected up shortly as well. And pipe back in. Definitely get the straw banked up. And I, if we go to the direction of the mixing wagon, we'll definitely put that into use. And uh, I don't really know if that's the best method or best way to go forward once we do get the great demand sold. 
but uh, I think it probably will be. Okay, Philip, there you go. Okay, this is 81%. Let's go ahead and move this out. Bring it over to the field over here. That way we can offload him. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to drop off the cedar. We'll leave the tractor over there as well. We'll pick up the other truck and go get the slurry tanker. And get that done. And what time do we have? Let's get this all back up. 7.45. Now we'll probably drop off and sell this last trailer full of wheat that we got. And then the rest of it will go ahead and bank into the silos. Okay, doing good there. Let's get this truck fired up. We'll go pick up the slurry tanker and get it filling up. About to go under 10,000 again. So, Philip is expensive, but we can't really go without his help because then it would take us even longer to get everything done. So, we want to make sure that we do utilize him as much as possible. If we kind of just keep him to harvesting and we do everything else, I think he'll be okay. Okay, zip through town. Probably shouldn't have gone through at 30 miles an hour. And there she is slurry tanker now we definitely should have enough to fill her up this morning oh drove through the imaginary pole I guess ghost pole Let's get underneath it correctly before we try to attach. And fill up. Now, how full is he? 71%. Now, we'll, we'll offload him as much as we can. It won't. We won't be able to get it all offloaded for the simple fact that we're almost full. Okay, this trailer full will definitely be enough to spray that little fill that we just got. It won't take much at all. We could probably do it in two passes. Okay. Looking at the time, we can see we're approaching 35 minutes of recording time. So we'll definitely have to be cutting cutting this episode soonish. Let's quickly sell the eggs that we have. That put us back over to 10,000 mark. Okay, he's going to be full before we get back over there, but that's okay. The truck's got uh, 5,670 liters and it holds 7,000. So it'll hold another 1230, I believe it is. So it might be enough to hold the rest of what he has in his tank right now. Be very close. Okay. Come on in. Let's go ahead and drop this here. 
land. Perfect. We don't have to drive over the crops. You're forgetting some tufts there, Philip. What's up with that? Okay, we'll let hold the rest of his tank. That's the question. It'll be close. Nope, it did not. Still quite a few, quite a bit on there, thirty-eight percent. So, let's go sell this real fast. We got ten minutes before the next change and fluctuation, so we'll sell this, and then the rest of what he harvests from the wheat, we'll put it in the silos. Then we'll harvest the barley and the canola next episode, and by that time, uh. We'll be able to get the fields replanted and move towards the final goal, which is the great demand for barley, which is just over a day away. So I'm eagerly awaiting that milestone. Uh, curious to see how much money we'll actually make off of that and how much it will actually be when the great demand hits. And come in through to the railway station here. Okay, looking at our finances, yes, we're doing quite well. We're still in the positive. We're in the, the positive direction. That's good to go. Now, we could potentially turn on missions. I don't know if there's actually missions in this map. I believe there is, but we wouldn't be able to do all of them for simple fact that we don't have a pallet fork front end loader um, so we wouldn't be able to do those type of missions but we could for sure do the mowing missions that might will be able to supplement our income as well um, it would mean distraction from doing the field work and harvesting and and the pigs slopping the pigs and stuff let me know what you guys think about that. Would you like me to see the would you like to see me turn the missions on and we can start partaking in missions to supplement our income or should we just continue the way we are without the missions? So, appreciate your input on that. That would be great. Let's move this over here where he's already 84% done, so let's spin this around and we'll drive up beside him and get that last little bit. Now he's almost done. We'll just have to pick up a couple of the tufts that he's missing. I don't know why he's missing those tufts. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the truck and park it right here. We'll shut that off. And come over to here. And okay, you're free to go, Philip. Okay, we'll let that offload. Shut that off. And let's go over to the spreader. We'll finish up with that and then we'll call it an episode. Okay, let's get this spun out. I will get spun around and get on the field at a correct angle. And hit two, and away we go. Okay. 
drive through the water a little bit. Let's get spun around. You guys don't really want to see all those trees. Let me get back on this correctly here. Okay, and I'll chew. Okay, almost done, folks. Almost done. Bear with us just a little while longer. Let's just come back down the other way. We don't have to fight those trees in. There we go. There we go. Let's just pull up over here as well. Okay, everyone. There we go. So, we got a lot accomplished today. We've got uh, the two wheat fields harvested. We sold a couple trailer fulls. We're up to 12,500. We bought a new field. We sold it and sprayed it as well with uh, our, our liquid money. And uh, we're good to go. So join us next time when we come back and we'll continue where we left off. Until then, have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Bye.